If you try to create text animation in After Effects using the built-in tool and had a bad time, you will follow in love with simple text. Hi, my name is Jack from Two Dead Frog, and I want to talk to you about simple text. Simple text is a script that I create to make text animation in After Effects more simple and intuitive. You create your animation on a shape layer that I call animator. So the animation that you create will be sent to your text layer with the delay that you choose. You have a lot more power and flexibility to create your animations. It's very fast to learn how to use simple text. Just follow this quick start. I will create a composition with a text layer as a sample in this quick start. The first step is to apply simple text to your layer. Here's a secret. If you just click on it, the animations will be created letter by letter. If you right click on it, they will be word by word. And if you hold shift key and click on it, it will be line by line. In this example, I will use the letter by letter option. The second step is to create your animation. When I applied simple text, it created a composition. This composition has a controller with some keyframes already marked. The marked points are the options that you have to animate your text using the controller. To make it a little easier to visualize, I recommend the following. Look the comp view of your text layer composition. By clicking on the comp name, you can create a new view. With this new view, you can see in real time the result of the animation you are creating. I will create an animation here to exemplify. Since you are using a shape layer to create the animation, you have access to some things that are impossible to find in the standard After Effects text tool, such as editing the busier curves in your animation tab, and also edit your speed curves on the graphic editor. In this way, it's much more easier to create interesting text animations. I will also create an animation in the rotation parameter. You can also enable the option Always Preview This View. By doing this, when you do the preview, After Effects will show you your animation on your text layer. The third step is choose the delay. To do this, you need to select your text layer. In the Effects panel, you have a new effect called 2DF Simple Text. You have all the delays option there. By default, the delay is 0.05. In other words, every 0.05 seconds, a new ladder is animated. If you increase this value to 1, a new ladder will be animated every 1 second, and so on. After choosing the delay time, you can choose between three types of delay. Normal delay, that is already applied. Reverse delay, where the animations are ordered backward. And the random delay, where each ladder has a random input time. When do you need to change the information in your text layer, you will need to reapply the simple text. This happens because the script adds an animator for each ladder of your text. So when you add more text, the script doesn't take into account the new letters. You just need to select your text layer again and reapply simple text. In this way, the script will apply the animations in all letters of your text. If you want to remove the animations from your text layer, just click on the Remove Text Animations option. As you can see, animators are very important in simple text, and that's why I want to show you how to use them. Each time the simple text is applied to a text layer, a new animator is created. 
the animator is identified by this number. For instance, if you decide to create a new text layer and apply simple text to it, the script will create a new animator with the number 2, which will be already applied to the layer. I will create a quick animation here. You can swift between the different animators using this option. If you put 2 here, the script will use the animation of Animator 2. If you add 1 to both text layers, then they will have the animation of Animator 1. This way, you can use the same animator to different text layers. If you don't want to create a new animator and want to use an animator that already exists, you just need to select it on your project and then select your text layer and apply simple text. This way, it will apply the animator that you choose. You can apply simple text to several layers at the same time. To do this, you just need to select all the layers that you want and apply simple text. To create variations of an animator, you just need to duplicate it. You can select it in the project and click Command or Ctrl D. After some time, you will probably have a folder with several animators. To make them more organized, you have some options. The first one is to create folders. The second is to use comments. If they are not enabled, you can enable them here. Right click, columns, comments. And then you can describe what your animator does. Some important techniques to keep in mind. You always have control over the busier path of your animator's animation. You can also access the graphic editor and edit the speed curves of your animations. Another interesting option is to use expressions in the parameters of your animator. For instance, I will apply a wiggle to the position parameter to show you what happens. This opens up a new universe of possibilities for your text animations. Another option is to split your sentence. So you can have different animators in the same sentence. For instance, I will duplicate this layer. In the first layer, I will only have the text my text. In the second layer, I will type animation. This way, I can use different animators and different delay options in the same sentence. In Till Dead Frog blog, you can watch some tutorials about the expressions that I use it to create simple text. In fact, you can download some projects and even create your own controller to use in your text animations. If you have any doubt, please contact me, I will be happy to help you. Thank you very much again and bye bye!